free gas for a year. Um, buenas and half a day. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to the people of Guam. Um, today we are here to recognize the outstanding accomplishments of our teachers in the classroom. And um, these are our Teacher of the Year finalists and our Teacher of the Year. And truly, to be a teacher, it is, a, um, it is really an act of giving of yourself um, and really caring about our future generations. You spend a lot of your personal time, a lot of your own personal money, your personal resources uh, to make your classrooms uh, a, a beautiful learning environment for our children. And you know, we owe a great deal of thanks for you because these are our future leaders. These are the, the ones that are going to lead our island forward. And really, uh, you focus on the holistic approach of the child. It's not just the education and knowledge that you are imparting on them, but it is also the acts of compassion, helping raise them, teaching them from what is right and what is wrong, and also encouraging them to pursue whatever they can and letting them know of their full potential in life. And so we want to thank you and honor you today. Uh, we are very humbled to be in your presence. Uh, we know that uh, you've really, um, really donated a lot of yourself, so thank you for your selfless service. And today we're here to honor you. So we are going to recognize our finalists first, and then we will call on our Teacher of the Year. Okay. So this certificate of recognition is presented to Kayana Mendiola of Upi Elementary School uh, for being selected as a finalist for the 2022 to 2023 Guam Department of Education Teacher of the Year Award, and commend you for your dedication and efforts to ensuring that students thrive and succeed in school so that they may be successful as our island's future leaders and become productive citizens. The Committee on Rules of Imen and Trentai Sai, Snalasatorn Guahan, herein directs that this official expression of its recognition and commendations be forthwith sent on behalf of Ilasatorn Guahan and the people of Guam, signed and sealed in the city of Hagania on the 18th day of April 2022. Please come forward, Ms. Kiana Mendiola. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Do you want to? Thank you so much. Thank you. We'd like to invite you to say some words about your experience as a teacher, so teacher of the year, and maybe in your classroom. Is there something you'd like to say? Yes. <laughs> Uh, this experience has been a very amazing and honoring and humbling experience. Being a special educator for the Department of Education and also the island of Guam, I'm very proud and honored to be able to represent my school, Upi Elementary School, and to just continue to advocate for all the people that are struggling with disabilities and have to live with disabilities and have family members that have disabilities. It's also an honor to be able to be part of their lives and to try and just help them be whatever they want to be in the future. So thank you everybody and uh, Sizu Smasi. Thank you so much. Yes, when, uh, when we're done you can, you can speak into the mic. Okay, <laughs> think about what you're going to say and then we'll let you talk a little bit. Okay? You, maybe you tell us your name and your age. Okay. Uh, forgive me, colleagues. I, I was so excited to <laughs> award the Teacher of the Year. I forgot to acknowledge my colleague, Senator Shelton, who is our legislative secretary. Uh, she's also the vice chair of education um, and always an advocate for GDOE and uh, everyone that is uh, making GDOE work together. And then also Senator Ada, who is present with us today. He's also an advocate for GDOE always. Almost, almost. After we give the teacher of the year, okay? Okay, and this next one is um, to recognize Serafino A. Duarosan Jr. from Atacal Elementary School on being selected as a finalist for the first, for the 2022 to 2023 Guam Department of Education Teacher of the Year Award and commend you for your dedication and efforts to ensuring that students thrive and succeed in school so that they may be successful as our island's future leaders and become productive citizens. The Committee on Rules of Imene Trente Sai, Snala Satur and Guahan, herein directs that this official expression of its recognition and commendations be forthwith sent on behalf of Ila Satur and Guahan and the people of Guam, 
signed and sealed in the city of Agonia, Guam on the 18th day of April, 2022. Please come up. Congratulations. Thank you. And yours? Please. Just pretend you're in the classroom. Half a day, everyone. I just wanted to say thank you to my fellow finalists. I enjoyed the experience with you all. Um, you made my time memorable, and I'm so proud to be an elementary educator, just like yourselves, representing elementary. Thank you to my school, Atacao Elementary, and all of my family and friends who supported me through my journey as a, a finalist. Thank you so much. Okay, and now we are going to recognize our Teacher of the Year. And so we're going to read, um, would you, can you please join us up here? We'd like to read a little bit about the accomplishments you've done and um, present you with this resolution. And then I think your daughter has some few words she's going to say. <laughs> Okay. Relative to recognizing Ms. Stephanie Camacho Conception for her commitment and dedication to ensuring the lives of our students and youth and congratulating her on being the Guam Department of Education's 2023 Teacher of the Year. Whereas since 1971, the Foundation for Public Education and the Guam Department of Education have nominated a handful of teachers for the island and nation's highest honor for educators in awe of their accomplishments, contributions, and commitment to their profession, and after un undergoing rigorous evaluations and observations, one teacher named as Guam's Teacher of the Year. Whereas out of six finalists, Ms. Stephanie Camacho Conception was bestowed the honor of being recognized as the GDOE 2023 Teacher of the Year during the foundation for public education and GDOE ceremony held on Sunday, May 15, 2022. And whereas Ms. Conception first began her journey to become a teacher by having gained experience from working with children while she was employed at the Tumuning Daycare and Learning Center from January 2000 to June 2002 as a preschool teacher caregiver. She taught and provided students lessons in social, emotional, language, academic, and motor skills in preparation for kindergarten. Whereas in 2005, Ms. Conception received her Bachelor of Arts degree in early childhood and elementary education from the University of Guam. She would then return to the university to receive her Master's of Education degree for administration and supervision in 2010 for her thesis, a comparative study to determine academic achievement for kindergarten of preschool and non-preschool children. Well done, by the way. Additionally, in 2014, Ms. Conception then enrolled in classes at the university again and received her Master's of Education degree in reading. And whereas Ms. Conception has an extensive career in education, having been an educator for more than 16 years, from January 2006 to June 2007, Ms. Conception taught Mar at Marshall A. Sablon Elementary School in the village of Hoggett. She taught students in grade level subject areas of reading, language arts, and mathematics in the district instruction program, as well as using multiple learning strategies. She created assignments, interventions, lesson plans, and adapted her curriculum to meet her students' needs to ensure that her students were at mastery for all lessons and, I can just read up to there. And I'll take off my glasses. <laughs> Thank you, Senator, we're right there. We're here. Yeah. And just read three paragraphs. Thank you. In addition to being, teacher, being a teacher at uh, Marshall A. Sablon Elementary School, Ms. Conception also conducted weekly professional learning community and collaborative learning team meetings and was a leadership committee member. Ms. Conception's teaching duties did not end when the school bell rang for the day. And she was also a Department of Education extended day, te extended day teacher who stayed back to further educate students who remained on campus after the regular school day ended. Other roles misconception while at Marshall A. Sablon Elementary School were summer school coordinator, social committee member for the school newsletter, and a HUTSA coordinator. 
And whereas from, June, from August 2007 to June 2009, misconception taught at Mauricio Martyr Elementary School in the village of Melesso, and while serving at MMMS, she continued her same duties as she had at Marshall A. Sablon Elementary School. And whereas from 2000, August 2009 to November 2013, misconception transitioned from a teacher role to become a curriculum coordinator for both Maritza Martyrs Memorial School and Telefofo Elementary School. As a curriculum coordinator, Ms. Conception facilitated all aspects of the Success for All program that included reading, language arts, and mathematics. She observed and mentored teachers in all components of the SA, SFA program, such as kinder corner, reading roots, reading wings, and more. She provided peer coaching for teachers and staff at GDOE and conducted weekly meetings with those individuals. Misconception's contributions extended to activities outside of the classroom. She conducted the second cup of coffee monthly to provide opportunities for students, parents, and the community to come together to help Guam students succeed. And through this program, community members were provided with an outlet to get together and to collaborate to find ways to help students and the school. Ms. Conception furthered her reach in the community by providing curriculum workshops for parents and families to be introduced to the curriculum and provide a chance to dig deeper into what was being taught in their children's classrooms. And these outreaches helped parents and families identify ways to help make learning even more successful for their children. In January 2014, Ms. Conception returned to the classroom to become a teacher again and continues to do so. Ms. Conception has held numerous leadership and committee memberships that include the following, co-chair of Focus Group 2, chair of Focus Group 1, school leadership committee, teacher rep PTO teacher representative, chair of the Chamorro Cadampica committee, chair of the SAT 10 awards committee, coordinator of the Solutions Network Committee, member of the Solutions Network Attendance Committee, Solutions Network Community Connection Committee, Solutions Network Parental Involvement Committee, Solutions Network Intervention Committee, member of the School Leadership Committee, co-chair of the Math Olympiad, chair of the STEAM Park Club, chair of the Accreditation Leadership Team, member of the curriculum leadership team, member of the school leadership team, and president of the Association for Children Childhood Education International. Ms. Conception was also a member of the following national and local organizations, Rainbows, the Association for Childhood Education International, and the Future Educators of Guam. Ms. Conception is professionally certified in the following. Rainbow's Training in First Responder and Suicide Attempts, Pacific Educational Conference 2011 Association of Supervision and Curriculum Development Annual Conference, Success for All Program Conference, EV3 Robotics Training, Balance Leadership, iPad Training, IXL Training, Lonnie Kate Curriculum Training, FOSH Training for First Grade, Lego Steam Park and Coding Express Training, National Science Teaching Association Training, and Lego Spike Training. Ms. Conception has proven to be a lifelong lo learner with all of her accolades under her belt, and she continues to strive to instill a love of learning in every child, regardless of who they are or whatever circumstances they may come from. Her firm belief in lifelong learning is evident in her goals to become more knowledgeable, which included studying strategies and theories to further improve her teaching capabilities for the benefits of her students. Ms. Conception frequently collaborates with other teachers, students, parents, and the community in hopes of creating a strong foundation for Guam's educational system and to ensure that every child has the chance to succeed in all aspects of their lives. Okay. 
Whereas Guam's 2023 Teacher of the Year, Stephanie Camacho Conception, will represent Guam at the national level for the 2023 National Teacher of the Year alongside 56 educators from 50 states and U.S. territories, the Department of Defense Education Activity, and now therefore be it resolved that Inimiana Chantai Saisnala Hesatur in Guahan does hereby on behalf of the people of Guam and the Guam Legislature recognize Stephanie Camacho Conception for her commitment and dedication to enriching the lives of our students and youth and congratulate her on being the Guam Department of Education's 2023 Teacher of the Year. Okay. Um, thank you, everybody. This is, has been an amazing experience with all the Guam Teacher of the Year finalists and how to get prepared for this. Um, I would like to first say thank you to um, GDOE, the legislature, um, my school, my students especially, and my co-teachers. Um, this journey wouldn't be um, where I'm at. I won't be where I am today without all my support systems, all the collaboration that we have done. It's been amazing. Um, they would like me to talk about my classroom, my, my students, if they're watching, they're gonna be so proud because um, we worked really hard and you know, considering all the, all the um, um, mo models of learning and they have accomplished so much and you know, they were so happy that we were able to um, integrate STEAM into our lessons, and they were so proud to see themselves on, on TV doing all those things. And, I'm, and I know that all the other Teachers of the Year students also were just as proud. I saw they're, they did amazing. And I just want to say thank you to all the hardworking teachers out there. Um, it's never ending, and for the, all the future teachers, I. Um, just want to let you know that teaching is very rewarding and kids are the reason why we do it and I have one here too <laughs> would you look she wanted to say something yeah sorry what is your name what's your name what's your name Sirina Sirina and who's your mommy your name mommy what's Mommy's name? Stephanie. Stephanie. Conception. Conception. Do you want to say something to your mommy? Yeah. What are you going to say? Um, congratulations. Okay, congratulations. Congratulations. Yay. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Miss Conception, we also have a, um, a certificate of recognition for you as well as being one of the uh, candidates for Teacher of the Year. And that is for you. And you are representing Talafofo Elementary School. So thank, thank you. you so much. All right. okay. So this concludes our resolution presentation. We'd like to invite the candidates up, or the finalists and the, the family members also of Mrs. Camacho. And uh, so we can take a photo. Thank you very much. God bless you, Guam. Have a good day.